If there's a part of your worksheet that you want Excel to treat as a separate data sheet, you could convert it to a table, and the definition of that is that a table has contiguous rows and columns, no blank columns or rows in between, that Excel treats as a separate data sheet from the rest of the worksheet. So there are two ways you can go ahead and convert your data range into a table. One way is to go ahead and select the range, come up here, click on the Insert tab, go to the Tables group, and it's right there, Table. Go ahead and click on it. To begin the process, you get the marching ants, so it verifies what you have selected that you want converted into a table. But if not, you can click on the collapsible dialog box button and click and drag to select the range, then hit enter to pop it back open. And then you can see that it's got My Tables Has Headers checked, meaning that do you have a header row, a header for each column, a label for this is the essential oils column, that's the category price and stock and so forth. If so, make sure that it's checked if it's not checked, and then go ahead and click OK and it converts it accordingly, so let me go ahead and click somewhere within it. You have your header row, which is a different color from the data down below, so you can tell that these are the labels for these columns here. And then you get these little drop-down triangles here that allows you to sort the data within that column, or for like the essential oils, you can sort it for the category or the price, and we'll talk about that in a later training video. And then down below within the data range, you get these banded columns, so that way you can see like for clove, it's one color in between two darker blues. That way when you're going from left to right, it can keep your eye focused and not going down here or up here because you got two bumpers of the same color that's guiding you and saying stay back on a lighter path here, at least as far as for the clove essential oil goes. And then another way to convert your data range into a table, let me go ahead and hit undo. And by the way, in the next training video, if you don't have the undo, I'll show you how you can convert your table back into a data range, but we'll hit undo for now. Then with it selected, come up here on the Home tab to the Styles group and click on Format as Table. So you're choosing a format here, which by the way, you can do it after you insert it as a table if you go that route, and it has its default format. This way you can see the formats up front, like this one, the pop-up when I hover over it, says Table Style Light 4. That's a cool name. Let's go ahead and select that. It selects the range here and it says, okay, this is what you want. It's got a row header or heading for each column, those are the labels. If so, and it's checked, click okie dokie, and there you go. Oh, that's kind of buggy the eyes there. And so in any case, if you don't like it, you can come back up here to its related contextual tab, the design tab, go to the table styles group, click on the quick styles, and then you can choose something else and click on it to update it. We'll talk about customizing it and modifying it in the next couple of training videos, but there's a quick change. And then if you click outside of the table, then it's related contextual design tab disappears. So if you want to modify or design your table, click back in it, and then you get it back up, click on it, and then you can make your changes with what's available here, including the name of the table, table three, too generic, let's call it my oils, and then hit enter. Oh, wait a second, it doesn't like spaces. It says you may want to use something if you need to have spaces or that appear spaces, use an underscore, so click okie dokie. If I gotta have what appears to be a space, then I can type in my, then use underscore, and then oils. So with the underscore, it satisfies that there's no space, but it looks like there's a space. So my oils, hit enter. It likes the new name of my oils. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.